Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I crochet this super cute sunglass or eyeglass case. It uses this really fun spike stitch and just a basic single crochet. Now let's get started. The materials I am using are four different colors of Red Heart Worsted Weight Acrylic Yarn. I am also using an I9 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a one inch or 25 millimeter button, some stitch markers, and a yarn needle. To begin, create a slip knot of your choice. Then chain 27. Pause the video and once you've chained 27, we can continue. Now that we have our 27 chains, we're going to begin round one. Now round one, we're going to be working down the chain, around the corner and back up the chain and it creates a round. So in order to do that, we are going to single crochet into the second chain from hook right here. And of course this loop on our hook never counts as a chain. So we're going to a single crochet, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. Now go ahead and continue single crocheting all the way down the chain. And once you get down here to the end, pause and I will show you how we turn this corner. Here I have single crocheted 25 and now we're going to place two stitches into the same chain right here. And this will help us round the corner. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little turn as I go. And now we're going to work up this side of the chain. So you're going to place 25 single crochet all along here. And we're going to skip this first chain and single crochet into the next chain. Starting one, two, and so on. Once you're at the end of round one, you want to slip stitch to your first single crochet, insert your hook, grab your, your yarn, and pull it through and through. Now you should have 52 single crochet. Rounds two and three are going to be the same. You're going to chain one and single crochet into each of your 52 stitches all the way around. Once round three is complete, I will meet back up again and we can begin round four. Round four, you're going to repeat round two. So just chain up one and one single crochet into each one of your stitches all the way around. And once you get to the end, instead of slip stitching with your old color, you're going to slip stitch with your new color. And in just a moment, we can do that together. Here I have grabbed the next color that I'm going to work with and you're just going to slip stitch by placing your hook into your joining stitch there, grabbing your yarn and pulling it through and through. Then you can tie those two tails together or create a tail by snipping your yarn first and then just give a regular little tie until you can sew your tails in. Now we get to begin the fun part of the spike stitch. Now the spike stitch is very interesting. We're going to be single crocheting into a stitch two rows below the row that we're working on. And the way the instructions have said is that if you are working on row five, for instance, you are going to be working into row three. So I used my hand to kind of figure out what they're talking about here. So of course we have five rows and if we're working on row five, we're going to slip stitch down into row three. So the way my brain is working it is that we're counting the row we're working on as a row. So one, two, and then into this row here. So I hope that is making a little bit of sense and if not, it's fine because we will just show how this is going right here. Now to begin row five, we're going to chain one and then spike stitch into our first stitch. So here we go, we're counting one, two, and there's our third, right there. So we're going to insert our hook way down there, grab our yarn and pull up a nice loose loop, 
yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. Then single crochet into your next stitch. And then we're just going to be repeating this all the way around. So your next stitch is going to be a spike stitch. So it's a just a big single crochet. And single crochet into the following stitch. Here is round five all finished for me. And round six is going to be a repeat of round two. So that's just chain one and single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of round six, you want to change over to your next color uh, in the last stitch or the slip stitch. The next four rows, we are going to be repeating round five and round two. So round seven, eight, nine, and 10, you're going to be repeating round five, which is the spike stitch, and round two, which is just single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Once those four rows are complete, I will meet back up with you. I am going to do two rows of this blue right here, and then I'm going to switch colors and do two rows of this color right here. Now after completing round 10 right here, you want to switch back to your base color, which is down here if you want to. I'm just going to slip stitch with it, just like we've been doing. Then we are going to do a repeat of round five. So this is round 11 that we're starting, and round five of course is the spike stitch. And then once that is complete, you're going to do 12, through 14 is going to be a repeat of round two. So once those are complete, I will meet back up again and show you how my work is looking. There is row 11 and then 12 through 14 all finished. Now you want to grab a stitch marker and flatten your case just like this. Then fold it in half to find the center. Place your stitch marker where you think the center is. And now we can begin round 15. Now round 15 we are going to chain one and single crochet into each stitch until we get to here. Once you get to there, you want to chain 15. Once you have chained 15, you want to single crochet back into that same space. Then continue single crocheting all the way back around and slip stitch when you get back to the beginning again. After round 15 is complete, the last step is to give it a finishing round, which is round 16. Round 16, we're just going to be slip stitching all the way around the top of the work. The last thing I'm going to do for my bag here is take my yarn needle. I have pulled the tail through and through the last stitch and I'm just going to do an invisible seam. So here I have my yarn needle. I am stitching into this other stitch here, going like this and then going back down into the center of our last stitch here. And if you do it a little bit loosely, just like this, it looks like all of the other stitches and then your bag is just absolutely perfect. Once you figure out where you want your button to be, just place it right there. And again, grab your yarn and needle and just sew it on. Well, here is my bag all finished. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!